What's up, guys? My name is Jax, and we are playing Yum Yum Dating Show. This is a obviously dating show game. Um, I've seen that it has some very interesting outcomes, but I'm not going to ruin the surprise for you, and I'm going to get straight into it. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the Yum Yum Dating Show. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's got the song in the corner, too. Hello, and welcome to the Yum Yum Dating Show, where the boys are yum yum. Oh, they're not paying me enough for this. The game where the cliche stereotype of your desires can be yours. Yes, that's right. Absolutely yours. Provided he'll have you. But that's all in the fine print. <laughs> the first cliched stereotype we have with us today is the shy guy. Come on out, shy guy. Oh god, I hate shy people. Hello, Mr. Shy Guy. Say hello to our audience, shy guy. Oh my god, why do you have to put that in the sentence twice? Sup. Okay. No, you're not supposed to say sup. You're, you're the shy guy. The shy guy always has to stutter through the sentences. Oh my god. <laughs> and look at the ground. Look at the ground is very, looking at the ground is very important. Um, <laughs> hello? Wow, okay. You're not blushing enough, shy guy. I can't exactly blush on c c c command. <laughs> oh, work on it. The things I have to deal with on this show. So let's get some background information on Mr. Shy Guy. Tell us about yourself. See, I would like this if they had their own actual, like, voiceover, because it'd be a lot better than me doing this, because this, this is just, it's weird. Err, I'm sh 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 shy because, I don't know, I don't like, I don't like p p p p p people. Okay, he's over-exaggerating and stuttering, you really shitty acting, dude. Nah, wrong. That's Mr. Asshole, and we haven't introduced him yet. Oh my god, there's a Mr. Asshole in this game. <laughs> so I like people, but I don't want to look sh 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 oh, s s s s s s stupid. Pretty much, you haven't learned to speak up for yourself. <laughs> it's like telling them how to be shy. It's like, oh my god, you probably had a bunch of brothers and sisters. They started talking. Oh, I can fast forward. Good, I can fast forward the text. They started talking right over you, so you started letting everyone do it. Or maybe you don't have any brothers or sisters, and you're just lonely. Either way, you're wuss. Sucks to be m m m m m me Oh my god. Indeed. <laughs> now I'll introduce our next stereotype for the ladies to oogle. He's the guy every girl wants to bring home to their mama. Or not. It's the bad boy. Oh god. Sup. You totally stole my line! Yeah, but he can pull it off. <laughs> What's shaking, bad boy? Wouldn't you like to know? Yes, I would. That's why I'm asking. Oh. Just hanging. Evasive. I like it. Next up. He's mysterious. He's brooding. We can't quite figure him out. He's Mr. Mysterious. Oh, such a... Such a, such a great name. Mr. Mysterious doesn't need to talk. He has an air of mysteriousness wafting or, or after him wherever he goes. Do you smell that mystery? Mmm, smells dangerous. Or like something died. I haven't decided yet. Mr. Mystery will do that to <laughs> Mr. Mystery will do that to you. Makes girls weak at the knees. That Mr. Mystery, Mr. That's like, that's a, that's a really big tongue twister there. Mr. Mystery. Sounds really right. I feel like I have a lisp. And quite possibly weak to their stomachs. Mr. Mystery, oh my god. Mr. Mystery, just go and look cool over there for a second. Try to make up a backstory more fascinating than your dad being an accountant and taking family trips to the beach. Because we totally know you're more interesting than that. Moving on, we have the sexy nerd type. He's, rela he's related to the shy guy, but he has glasses. Isn't that just the shy guy with glasses? 
Of course not. We wouldn't be so cheap to do something like that. <laughs> Crickets. I wish I had a, I don't have a cricket. Insert cricket noise, which I don't have. So, Mr. Glasses Guy, our sexy nerd, tell us about yourself. I'm really sh 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 shy. Wrong! Auto cue! Idiot! Look over there and stop stuttering! <laughs> oh, I guess I know stuff. I guess. Indeed, you do. And you're also high strung, but deep down, you have a sensitive side. I, I said that really weird. You have a sensitive side, whatever. I guess. Could you stop saying that? Okay, next up. Mr. Snub, the Sunder, uh, is that Sunder type? I probably said that wrong, you guys can let me know, but I guarantee you I said that wrong. This guy is the douche that shows up in different forms in pretty much every, is it Autumn game or Tome game? Oh God, I hate words like that. But even though he's a total ass, he hides his superior sweet side, which we all know he has deep down. Everybody say aww. And then the comments, this is this is for you guys. You comment down below and say, aw. Aw. Oh my god, that was really stupid of me to say it like that. Secretly, Mr. Attitude has a collection of teddy bears and likes looking at rainbows and sunsets. No, I don't. Yes, you do. If you don't, you're nothing but a one-dimensional ass wife and the girls won't swoon. <laughs> I love that. Dimensional ass <laughs> Why am I laughing so hard? Oh my god, why am I crying? Why was that so funny? Oh my god. And if the girls don't swoon, I don't get paid. Why was I laughing so hard? And I care why? Because deep down, you're a sweetheart. Get with the picture. No, I'm not a romantic at all. If you met the right girl, you might be. Don't think so. Trust me, I know better than you. I'm the host. We're almost through our list. Next, we have the Heartbreaker, or better known as Mr. Stud. Oh God. Not to be confused at, at all with Mr. Snub, the lovable asshole. Hey babe, you read me so well. Wanna blow this joint, get naked? Oh God. No, 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 no! What? You're meant to be hitting on the girls! The girls! Haven't you ever played an... Whatever game? A what now? Oh, see, I don't even know what that means either. Ha! Yes! Ugh, okay. Deep down, you're very traditional and only want one girl to love forever, okay? Hey, I could be the host. I'm really good at this. You're... <laughs> You're paying by the hour, buddy, so whatever freaky crap you want, you got it. Nobody said the heartbreaker can be a gigolo, okay? He's the heartbreaker type, just with STDs. <laughs> hey, I'm clean, man. Check me out. Whatever you say, dude. Whatever you say. And last, we have that fat loser gamer type. Oh, God. Said no dating show host ever! Get back in your cage, fatty! <laughs> Aww. Now we've got all the guys. Oh wait, we're still missing something. One of you guys has to be filthy rich and possibly a prince. Because that's something every girl wants. Any takers? I will. Not you, Gigolo. I could be a prince. Perfect. And that's why you're a total ass. Because I have everything I could ever want. Because people are using you for your wealth and status and no one is genuine with you. You don't have true love. This is all about finding true love. I don't want to find true love though. I just want to be a D-bag in peace. <laughs> you don't get to decide. The player does. And we can all be thankful for that. Alright, a deposit of $100,000 and a fake crown will be yours. But only if the player chooses you. Because if she doesn't choose you, you don't deserve to be a prince. You fake sunder fake asshole faker asshole. Oh my god. Who wrote this? I love them. So I, so I can be I can just bribe her to pick me? Technically, yes, but according to the rule I just made up, no. Alright. 
our cliche lineup will go behind this amazing pixelating screen, so it's not totally obvious who is who. It's pretty obvious. Can we get a dumber girl here, please? Ah! Okay. Burn in hell, bitch! <laughs> oh my god, this is awesome! Ahem. Next. Like, I have no idea who any of these guys are. Like, like, that's crazy! Which one is the cute one? Yeah, she'll do just fine. Question. What? Why didn't we just hit the previous girl over the head so she would get amnesia? Good idea! You can go- you can't go past a good amnesia plot in the whatever verse. Ouch! Are you forgetting stuff yet? No! Stop that. Oh my god. Alright. Oh my god, and they drew- literally- look, they just drew glasses on this one. Are you kidding me? Do you guys see this? So, bachelors, are you ready? No. I guess? Hey, hot stuff. Alright, clueless girl, ask your questions to the boys. Be very careful, because some of them might not be completely in character. I'll take the brooding guy! <laughs> you can't just pick who you want! Duh! This is a dating game? Of course I can! If we made it that easy, then no one would want to play it. Now, here's how you play it. Each round, you ask one question. The guy answers, and you have to choose the worst and, and you have to choose the worst answer. The guy who gives the worst answer is kicked out of the game. Can I ask any question I want? Yes, any question at all. From this approved list of questions. <laughs> the fine print. So after every question, you eliminate one of the six bachelors. You keep going until you have two guys remaining. When it comes to that, you can either, excuse me, you can either choose one to go on a date with or have them fight to the death over you. Which one, which one does not die a gruesome death wins the girl? God. And gets to have the romance every geeky teenager. Ring, ring, oh God. Hold on a second, it's my lawyers. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hmm. Apparently, fighting to the death is illegal. And completely unrelated to a dating game show. These guys are total buzzkill! Oh well, since no one will be dying, let's get started so we can get it over with as quickly as possible. If I can't get my fill of violence here, I'll have to spend the rest of the night fighting drunken sailors at the dock. Anyway, it's question time. All right. Let's see. Ask which one was the hottest. What sort of date would you take me on? What would you buy me on our diamond wedding anniversary? Let's see. What sort of date would you take me on? So say you had to take me on a date. What sort of date would it be? I wouldn't take you on a date. Why not? It, it's not like I like you or anything. Aww. Well, we'd go on a romantic picnic, and I'd wine and dine you until s s s sunset. <laughs> My date would start at sunset, if you know what I mean. Seeing as we're all over 30 here, I think we do. We'd run from the law, baby. God, that's so stupid. I guess I would take you somewhere private to read? Um, like the library? Uh, yeah. Ditto. Ditto. You can't just say ditto. I just did. Or just did. I hate you, man. So, girl, we need to be. We just replaced the other girl seconds ago. Oh. Whatever. What's your verdict? Um, running. Is he cray cray? I don't really like the sound of ditto, whatever that is. Like, running. I hate running. I don't really like dates where I have to run. I have heels, you know. I think he was speaking figuratively. He so yeah, I'm going to have to say goodbye to Bachelor One. Goodbye, bad boy. After all the money I spent getting a taxi here. Ugh. Well, Girl Friday, you get to ask another question. I'm not a Girl Friday. 
It's Saturday! Oh my god, what the fuck? I'm like, a girl Saturday or something. Unless it's really Friday. Don't confuse me! Oh my god. Uh, your biggest turn on. Uh, uh, could you repeat that question, please? What turns you on? What drives you wild? What could I do? What could I do that would make you? Stop! Stop! I'm not answering that. My biggest turn on is you. Oh god. My biggest turn on is a sexy maths question. Pwah! I, I think that's how you say that. I don't, I don't know what that is. I have no turn ons. All right. That's none of your business, stupid girl. All right, time to kill our second bachelor. I mean, eliminate, not kill. <laughs> um, let's see, so rude. I hate math, so I'm sorry. So you want to get rid of the sexy nerd who is only turned on by math questions. Yes, that's just weird. I mean, what kind of math question turns him on? Two plus two equals, <gasps> Oh my god, that's so creepy. Well, I guess that answers that question. Goodbye, sexy nerd. Okay, we're on the third round and the bachelors are dropping like flies. There's still some good ones in there though. So it's your choice again. To or so it's your choice again. What do you want to ask? Um I don't like facial hair, so I don't want to ask that one. I'll just do romantic fantasy. What is your romantic fantasy? Oh, good question. I'd love to fly to a tropical island. I wasn't asking you! Oh, of course not. Let's hear the boys' romantic fantasies. Romantic fantasy? I'm living it right now. Oh god. <laughs> Who needs a romantic fantasy? I guess I'd have a girlfriend. I guess I'd have a girlfriend if I had to. I guess we could hold hands together. Or, or something. Idiot. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yeah, oh, he's such a big sweetie deep inside. Hmm, romantic fantasy. I don't really have a romantic fantasy. Okay. No. <laughs> it's your second to last removal of an undateable guy. Who will it be this time? Um. Oh, really? Oh, I'll do the hand holding. So you want to get rid of the guy whose romantic fantasy is just holding hands. Yeah, that's weird. It's like, why are you so obsessed with my hands? I think it's just a romantic gesture. <laughs> she does have nice hands though, you have to admit. See what I mean? And that's the kind of comment that shows why you need to go on a dating show to find a partner. Alright, here it comes. We're down the last three guys. This will be the final question, so choose wisely. I'm sure you'll have your dream guy in your arms within seconds. Um. Oh, it's a holiday, so let's do this. Is there something you've always wanted for Christmas but never got? If you guys want, you can leave a comment down below as to if there was a Christmas present that you've always wanted and never got. That's a great idea. Put that down there. When I get a Christmas present, I neither smile or fr I neither smile or frown. The whole family sighs. What's he thinking? How does he feel? Who is he? And why is he in our house? <laughs> I hate Christmas. I hate meeting relatives. I just wish I could hide in the snow for two weeks. <laughs> That's how I feel, honestly. Just a data database of girls' phone numbers I can call and seduce. Oh my god, those were all terrible. Last chance to eliminate a loser before the final choice. And there's still a lot of losers to choose from. Oh my god. Uh, I value database security above all. I want people to smile when they get a Christmas present. I think I gotta get rid of the phone guy. I just, just, so just to confirm, you wanna get rid of the bachelor who wanted a database of girls' phone numbers. Yes! I hate dirty hackers! Dirty hacker nerds! Mmm, dirty fantasies. I, I think you made the right choice eliminating this one. Blah. Apparently she pukes. Bye bye, heartbreaker. All right. Well, you've heard from the guys. Now let's see who has to say goodbyes. A little rhyme for you. All right. It's all down to the final two boys. Who would you like to choose to go on a date with? Just a reminder. Here's a quick recap of the boys. Oh 
my God. Will it be bachelor number two who l -l 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 loves isolation? Will it be bachelor number four who we still know literally nothing about? Remember, you're choosing who you want to live with you with for the rest of your life. The choice is yours. Oh, God. Well, you know, in the end, maybe the mysterious man might actually come out to be better than a shy person. Who knows? You got Bachelor 4. I don't know what you're going to do about this guy. He will literally reveal nothing about himself. Nothing. I had to make up his whole backstory. But you can change it since he's yours now. Just don't be surprised if he's living a whole double life. Probably doing something too humiliating to reveal. Oh, like we haven't got you pegged already. Anyway, congratulations on your choice. Here's your man of the evening. I guess I'm your boyfriend now. No, he's ugly. I chose the wrong one. No. Oh my God. Yes. And now you're going to have a crappy life forever. And because you didn't swoon on camera, I'm not going to get a paycheck. Wait. Wait a second. I'm not going to get a paycheck? There's no way I'm going to let that happen. Director, use the magic of television. <laughs> Through the magic of television, everyone is able to reshoot all the scenes again until the player makes the right choice. All right, everyone. Pretend this is the first time you've seen any of this and laugh. Laugh, laugh when I tell you to. Oh, my God. Ask which one's the hottest. Yeah, which one of you guys is the hottest? Because that's, like, really important to me, you know? It's a great question, and there's only one way to find out. Boys being honest about their bodies. You're kidding me, right? It's obviously the sexy nerd. N not that I like him or anything. He's right. Sexy nerds are both sexy and nerdy enough to appreciate the symmetry and geometry of their muscly bodies. I'm clearly the only one qualified to answer such a question, and the only, and the only one qualified to be the hottest guy here. Mysterious. Depends on whether you like guys on motorcycles or not. Oh, is it my turn again? I mean, I'm not that hot without glasses on. <laughs> I don't think anyone here is that hot, to be honest. Hmm, interesting. Only one of them said they were the hottest. Since Bachelor 6 said he was the hottest, that obviously means... Alright, well, he's, he's the hottest guy ever. Like, since he's the hottest, I obviously can't send him home. Oh, he isn't going to go home. He's going to end up stuffed in the cage with the fatty, with the fatty out the back. Oh, well, either way. So, who do you choose to go home? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I guess Bachelor 1 sounded the not hottest. That's not even a word. And Bachelor 3 didn't even speak. I'm sorry, you're just not my type. I like hot guys who know they're hot. And you're just not. Adios, Bachelor 2. No! Better luck with your next gig. Well, Girl Friday, you get to ask another question. I'm not a Girl Friday. It's Saturday. I'm like, oh god, she just said this. Unless this is really Friday, don't confuse me. Oh god, really? This was even funnier the second time, right? Uh, no, it was not. Oh my god, biggest fear. God, this sucks. Oh, this is bugged out. I think he's supposed to disappear. What is your biggest fear? Not hooking up with you, baby. Oh god. Boredom. Live fast. Li live fast. Life free. Live... What the fuck? Those are my three rules for life. But if anyone asks, I have no fear. Not being seen as elusive and mysterious. I fear having me around someone as idiotic as you for more than two seconds. My biggest fear is walking up and realizing my sexiness was all a dream. I'm also scared that one day I'll be old and ugly and maybe not so intelligent anymore. I will have to hug my Nobel Prizes and worship my pinup posters of myself when that day comes. So, who do you want to eliminate? Oh my god. Ah, uh, the mis mysterious person, I guess. So I want to get rid of the mystery man who lost his mysteriousness aura. Yes, he's so transparent now. I bet he was born on a Tuesday. What the fuck? How does she know that? Sadly, women are amazingly good at reading body language. 
Goodbye, Miss X Mystery Man, whatever. Okay, we're on to the third round of the bachelors are dropping like flies. Again. There's still some good ones in there though. So, it, so it's your choice again to ask whatever a question. Mustache. It's a pretty serious one. So which would you grow a mustache if I asked you to? I'll grow a mustache only if and when I want to. I don't need someone like you telling me what to do. Okay. Already done, baby. Wow, how eager. I like it. Yeah, he definitely get he's definitely getting through the next round. Sweet. Baby, I can't stand facial hair, but I love tattoos. I totally get a mustache tattoo if you wanted. See, I like this guy. But I'm assuming I have to pick the sexy nerd. Hey, baby, how about I grow a mustache, special mustache just for you? Except it won't be on my face. <laughs> yeah, oh god. Only one more round after this. Make sure to eliminate blah blah blah. Nobody wants to be left with the leftovers, even on a dating show. Oh shit, okay, good. Do so I wanna get rid of the guy who hates facial hair? Uh-huh, like, that's the same as a girl saying she hates eyeliner. It's pretty different. I could tattoo some eyeliner on my eyelids if that helped. I don't think that would help. Goodbye, bad boy. All right, here it comes. We're down to the last three guys. This will be the final question, so choose wisely. I'm sure you'll have your dream guy in your arms within seconds. Ah, uh, we can't tolerate a partner. Seriously? If I'm not banging a girl within an hour of meeting her, what's the point? <laughs> Girls who can't do calculus. Like, the world doesn't need you. Go burn. God. I like the host. Seriously! Stop hitting on me! Okay. Get rid of the creation who said people who can't do calculus need to burn. Some of us didn't do a good- didn't go to a good school, alright? Make him pay. Okay. Wait. Wait. You shouldn't let other people make your choices for you. Go die, Christian! Well, actually, you are legally required to make out your own mind up. Um. <laughs> get rid of the host. Uh, I don't like explosions. So, you wanna get rid of the man who wants to bang you within the next hour? Yes, he sounds like a terrorist. <laughs> Send him to Guantanamo! Dude, what's up with this chick? I'm gonna blow this joint. Ah, he's gonna blow the joint! Save yourselves! We'll take care of him. Don't worry. Goodbye, Mr. Gigolo. Well, you've heard from the guys. Now let's see who has to say goodbyes. You just said that. A little rhyme for you again. Alright, it's all down to the final two boys. Who would you like to choose to go on a date with? And here's another recap. Number five, who is like an ice cube waiting to melt into your heart. Into a... Whoa. Melt into a soft, melty chocolate thing. Okay. I don't think that's a very good explanation of my personality. Shut up, Mr. Attitude. Honestly. Or will it be Bachelor number six who enjoys maths, M M Monet, oh, Monet, and wearing mascara? Remember, you're choosing who you want to live with for the rest of your life. And the choice is yours. Those are the sexy nerd, because I, I hope she picks this one, because I'm just going to be mad if I had to do this again. Bachelor six. The total whatever nerd. But don't worry, he's sexy, which makes it okay. He can also fix computers and do your homework. If you're into that sort of thing. On the downside, he'll annoy the hell out of you for during hell out of you during normal conversation. Blah blah science, blah blah blockchain. What the fuck? Luckily he's able to get a good, respectable job that pays well. In fact, he can also get a less respectable job that also pays well. But the less we say about that, the better. Anyway, congratulations on your choice. Here's the man of the evening. I guess I'm your boyfriend now. Oh my god! Oh, fuck it! She still made the wrong choice! Alright guys, let's just reshoot this show as many times as needed. Oh my god. Final round. Okay. <laughs> Who <laughs> will it be bachelor number three who enjoys mass money wearing mascara? Well, take the shy guy. Congratulations, you can now live happily ever after. Yay! And the other boy will remain loveless for the rest of his life. Doesn't bother me. Wait a second. Oh no, they were both the same person. One of them was just wearing glasses. What does this mean? Well, 
If I can't give you two boys, that would blow your mind. Well, I'll have to get rid of both of them. No! Sadly, we're all out of boys. Oh, unless you want the gamer nerd in the cage. Ew, no way! Actually, I'm desperate, so I'll take <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, I've never felt so much love in my life. Yeah, yeah. Oh, now that I'm free of that cage, I I think I'm transforming. Oh god, not a real, not a like a frog. Oh my god. Yes, I can feel it. I'm reaching my true form. What? Oh, what the hell? This is my true form. Wow! That's so dumb. Wait, what? Turns out I'm the god of love, punished to this world. Punished to this world until I understood my own power. Only the true love provided by this girl allowed me to access my natural abilities as, go as a god of love. And now, I'll forever thank the girl who rescued me from the cage in this TV studio. Goodbye, cruel world. Hello, everlasting bliss. What's going on? Hello? Um, well, that's another happy couple who found true love on the Yum Yum Dating Show. Join us next week, and we'll see how much fun they have on their date. But for now, let's finish our show as we always do, with a song. Self-voicing enabled. Now playing, Love Can Happen to Anyone. Now playing, Aura, by Alkana, self-voicing disabled. Okay, I don't know what happened, but okay. Oh! Self-voicing, all you have to do is be open to it. Horses, what? horses, everywhere. Oh my god, I didn't even have to actually- Oh, this is dumb. Really? I'm no circle, I'm a square. My favorite fruit is lime or pear. Don't I have the coolest hair? This Sexy is dumb. like a nerd. Smartest in the herd, muscles like a king. I make people cry when I sing. I hope I didn't have to Yo, read this entire time. little girl, who's bad, I'm bad. I'm badder than a robot trying to destroy the planet. Oh my god. Okay, I'm turning this off. Self -voicing the robot voice is disabled. creepy. Badder than a cutie boy from a 2001 boy band. Badder than a motorcycle with a big bad biker on it. I'm so bad, you ain't gonna see- You ain't gone seen me- What the heck? What the fuck? Kapow something. English! This song is getting a little out of hand. Oh, it's fine. Let's keep going. If you say so, time for the shy guy. I I I I I don't like s s s singing. It it's not like I'm singing this song for you, idiot. Okay. Oh, but how mysterious am I? I'm so mysterious. I love the sound of that word. Ir eerious, mysterious, mist, eerious, magic. Okay. That's all we have time for tonight. Thanks so much for playing until you reach the true ending. I know it was hard. Au revoir to our lovely self-voicing robot. Round of applause. You're too kind. Yes, I am. Oh, I'm so funny. Oh my god. That's quite enough of that. I don't think so. All right. I'm turning the robot off now. Goodbye. Two years later. Really? Wait. I think I chose the wrong boy. Oh god, here we go again! The end. And that's it, guys! Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so that was um really, really interesting. I will leave a link down below if you guys want to check this out yourself. I thought it was kind of hilarious. Um, it did get a little bit too much. I think even just the one, one, one run-through would have been better than going through twice. It seemed kind of like... I don't know, it just, I wasn't, I lost it after that first half. It's, it's funny, but it goes a little, it drags on. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys for this video. I will see you all in my next one. Bye! And then I should be good. Oh my god. Okay, so now I can take out this guy. I don't want to get too many at a time. So, oh, why are you avoiding the bouncer? Oh, thank God. Get the bouncer. Yes. 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 I'm going to take it. Sweet. Thank God. Okay, the bouncer.